talking about how to pump a liquid helium viewer. What that means is we're actually going to measure the liquid helium level that is within a 100 BGL container uh, that was shipped to us from Matheson Air Gas. I'm going to explain to you a few of the items that you will need to start the pumping process. You're going to need a pair of thermal gloves, so when you're handling with the liquid helium, you must have a face shield when working with the liquid helium. It is recommended that you have a pair of pliers. We will have to have a tape measure. The thumping rod, which is a hollow rod at one end. On the other end, we have a pipette dripper and we have alligator clips. You will need two alligator clips on the end of the rod. It is also recommended that you clean everything as you're going in, so I'm going to be using just uh, isopropyl alcohol. Okay, you can see that I put on all my PPE. You'll also notice that I put a stool right here in front of the viewer so that I can stand up and be at a proper height. So, as I step up here, this is the main vent valve that's in the top of the viewer. I'm going to open it. What you're seeing is actually cold helium gas escaping through the top of the viewer. I'm going to take my thumping rod after I place the alligator clips at the end, and I'm going to lower it all the way into the bottom of the chamber. Okay, so it's sitting all the way on the bottom. I place the alligator clip right at that point. I then remove one of my thermal gloves and I start raising it up, drilling for the uh, pulsation. So it's pulsing right now. As you get to the liquid level in the helium, the frequency of the pulsing will change and you'll be able to tell when the end of the rod past the helium level. Right there is my helium level. So I'm going to remove the upper clip, the one I did not place, and I'm going to mark that level. I'm then going to remove the rod from the chamber and close the valve. Okay, so now I have the rod sitting on the table. This is the clamp that we placed when we were all the way in the bottom of the BGL. This is the clamp that we placed whenever we got to the liquid level. So what you want to do is, with your tape measure, measure the distance from it. So right now, that is 21 inches. So from the manufacturer of the VGL, you get a chart that will look like this right here. A lot of times it's on the side of the VGL, or you can contact the distributor and they can send you a picture of it, which is what I have here. So if we look on the left side, it's in inches. If we go down to 21 inches, we can see that we have 98.1 liters of liquid helium in our doer.